Long ago, the Buddha was born as a friendly little parrot. He delighted in flying among the tangled branches of his forest home. He was a friendly bird. He greeted other creatures with joy. He was glad to be alive and glad to have been given the gift of flight. One day, over the parrot's forest home, the sky darkened and a terrible storm thundered down. Lightning flashed and one ancient tree burst into flames. The wind spread the sparks everywhere and pretty soon the whole forest was on fire. And the little parrot, seeing this fire, immediately flung himself out into the fury of the storm circling above the fire, calling out to the animals below, fire, fire, run to the river, fire, fire, run to the river. And many animals just below heard that call and they made their way to the safety of the river. But there were others trapped in the flames and smoke, not knowing which way to run or hide. And so that little parrot, instead of flying off to safety himself, continued to circle above the fire, seeking some means of helping those that were still trapped below. Finally, a desperate idea came to him. Flying to the river that flowed along the forest's edge, the little parrot dipped his body and wings in that dark water and then flying back over the fire, which was now raging like an inferno, the little parrot dropped down low among those flames and rapidly shook his wings. The few drops of water still clinging to his wing feathers tumbled into the fire like little precious jewels. And then the little parrot turned and flew back to the river and again dipped his body and wings in that dark water and again flew back over the fire and rapidly shook his wings. Again and again and again, the little parrot flew from the river to the fire, from the river to the fire, from the river to the fire until his wings were ragged and greasy and black, his eyes burned like coals, his mind danced as dizzily as the spinning sparks, and still he continued to fly from the river to the fire. High above the parrot, in the heavenly realms, the gods relaxed in their palaces of ivory and gold. They looked down upon the world and saw this little parrot flying to and fro, and they laughed out loud. What a ridiculous bird. What does he think he can do? Put out a fire like that with a few drops of water from his wings? It's absurd. <coughs> But one of those gods was strangely moved by what he saw. And so turning himself into a golden eagle, he allowed himself to be drawn down into the parrot's fiery path. Little bird, little bird, turn around, get away from that fire, save yourself. You can't put out a fire like that with a few drops of water from your wings. But the little parrot just flew steadily on. Little parrot, little parrot, turn around, get away from that fire. But the little parrot just flew on. I don't need advice like that from a golden eagle, he said. I could have had advice like that from my own mother and father long ago. <laughs> advice? I don't 
don't need advice at all. What I need is for someone to pitch in and help. And as the golden eagle watched that little parrot fly so steadily on through the flames, he suddenly felt shame for his own privileged kind. He could hear the laughter of the gods echoing above while frightened animals cried out just below and suddenly he didn't want to be a god or a golden eagle or anything else. He just wanted to be like that brave little parrot and to help. Moved by these new feelings, the golden eagle began to cry. Streams and streams of shimmering tears cascaded down on the fire, on the forest, on the little parrot himself. Washed and bright, he rocketed about like a little feathered sun. Now that's more like it, he said. Teardrops dripped off the charred ends of tree branches and new leaves unfurled. Teardrops dripped to the forest floor where new grass pushed its way up beside still glowing cinders. And the animals, they looked around at one another. All were well and whole, and they looked up to their friend the parrot, looping and soaring on and on. And they said, hooray! Hooray for that brave little parrot and for that sudden, miraculous rain. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs>